Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about the differences in the medicinal qualities of the nettle leaf versus the nettle root. The stingy nettle plant, also known as Urtica dioica, is one of the most commonly and widely used herbs in traditional herbalism. Now, although traditionally the plant as a whole is considered to be a tonic to the kidney system and the bladder, the fact of the matter is the leaves and the stem of the nettle plant have different physiological mechanisms compared to that of the root of the nettle plant, and therefore both parts of the plants would ideally be used to treat different imbalances. So although they share similar properties, the fact of the matter is they still differ, and ideally for proper uh, utilization or therapeutic use of this plant, we want to know these differences so we can apply either part of the plant to treating different imbalances and different disorders. So in this particular video, I want to dive into some of the physiological differences of nettle leaf versus the nettle root, so that way you have a better understanding of what this plant does and therefore have a better idea of whether you should be using the nettle leaf or the nettle root to treat your specific imbalances. Now starting off, let's take a look at the nettle root. So traditionally speaking, nettle root is considered to be a tonic to the bladder in the urinary tract, which is part of the kidney system in traditional Chinese medicine. So traditionally speaking, it has been considered to be an anti-inflammatory to the urinary tract, which is why it has so many therapeutic uses in treating urinary disorders. So excessive urination, the chronic urge to urinate, these are all imbalances or symptoms of inflammation in the urinary tract. Today, however, However, thanks to a large body of clinical research, nettle root has been acknowledged and recognized for far more than its anti-inflammatory effects on the urinary tract and the bladder. It's well recognized as a powerful antioxidant. It is an anti-aromatase herb, meaning it helps to stop the enzymatic conversion of androgens to estrogen. So it's a hormonal balancing tonic that could be attributed to uh, therapeutic uses for things like breast cancer, PCOS, hair loss, and a wide variety of other estrogen related disorders and it's also one of the most clinically researched herbs for treating the enlargement of the prostate also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia or again the enlargement of the prostate so again perhaps the major benefit to nettle root and the major difference between the root and the leaf itself is this profound anti-inflammatory effects and its specific anti-aromatase effects. So again, aromatization is this enzymatic conversion of androgens like testosterone into stressful hormones like estrogen. And estrogen is a known key player in a wide variety of diseases. First and foremost, estrogen stimulates the production of cortisol, which is a catabolic stress hormone which can induce inflammation, it can degrade the quality of your skin, organs, and tissues, and lead to other psychological imbalances or mood balances like anxiety and depression. So the fact of the matter is estrogen is a major stress chemical, an inflammatory mediator that's part of the pathology of most disorders including cancer. In fact, estrogen's influence on breast cancer is widely acknowledged and well established. So there are a couple different mechanisms in which estrogen leads to the progression and the development of cancer. First and foremost, estrogen stimulates cell proliferation through the estrogen receptor pathway and it also directly leads to genetic mutations and it impairs the proper DNA repair systems in the body. So estrogen again is a major stress chemical and nettle root can help to lower the serum levels of estrogen by stopping the aromatization of your androgens into estrogens. So perhaps nettle root's greatest benefit again is this anti-aromatase effect which is going to have a major systemic benefit uh, in treating a wide variety of estrogen related disorders or hormonal imbalances. Now looking at the nettle leaf, the nettle leaf is in no way a inferior to the medicinal properties of the nettle root, they're just a bit different. So traditionally speaking, the leaf and the stems of the nettle have been used for their anti-inflammatory or specific anti-allergenic properties. So what the nettle leaf is capable of doing is stopping the production of histamine, which would attribute to an allergic response, inflammation, and all of the symptoms associated with allergies. So things like runny nose, uh, dry eyes or itchy eyes, general itching, and again, general inflammation. So this can include pain. Keep in mind that things like arthritis are allergy or inflammatory related. In fact, according to study, it's been found that the supplementation of nettle leaf extract when applied topically could significantly reduce pain in arthritic patients. 
Looking at another study, it's been found that uh, supplementing with nettle leaf extract in vitro inhibits several key inflammatory events that cause the symptoms of seasonal allergies. So perhaps the major therapeutic benefit of nettle leaf is its specific antihistamine effect. So this is going to be beneficial not just for allergies though, but also pain related conditions and other inflammatory related conditions. And that's because histamine is in essence, it's a pro-inflammatory cytokine. It's not just involved in allergies, but all inflammatory related conditions. So now the big question is, should you be supplementing nettle root or nettle leaf? So again, looking at the physiological mechanisms here, I would normally suggest nettle root to people who are dealing with an excess of estrogen, who have hormonal imbalances, who are dealing with more chronic inflammatory related conditions. So things like uh, hair loss, PCOS, uh, any signs of estrogen dominance and in some cases for treating breast cancer. Now looking at nettle leaf, the major benefit here is going to be that antihistamine benefit. Now what's interesting here though is that nettle leaf is still going to be beneficial for a lot of the similar conditions of nettle root, for example hair loss, because there's actually a strong correlation between uh, allergies, inflammation, or specifically a chronic production of histamine and hair loss. So nettle leaf in addition to treating allergies, seasonal allergies, hay fever, and other signs of again allergies or acute inflammation, it could also be beneficial for treating hair problems, which is ultimately an inflammatory related imbalance. However, nettle leaf does not contain that anti-aromatase quality, so it's not going to be therapeutic for treating things like estrogen dominance, breast cancer, PCOS, or other hormonal imbalances, but it could be very therapeutic for treating allergies, or for fighting acute or chronic inflammation, and it is also a hair tonic, so it's beneficial in that way. So ultimately, because there's no negative interactions between the two, because they're the same plant, you could supplement with both of them and reap both of the benefits from both of the herbs. So the anti-allergy and the anti-inflammatory effects of the nettle leaf, and also the anti-aromatase effects of of the nettle root. However, hopefully this video has at least clarified some of the major differences between the two. Again, they do share similar properties. So your best bet is probably to just supplement with both of them and experiment. However, if you're, again, specifically looking for that anti-aromatase effect, stick to the nettle root. And if you're looking for something more to treat allergies specifically in lower histamine, nettle leaf would be the ideal choice. However, I would personally probably recommend supplementing with both because they have synergistic properties and you could probably reap benefits on both ends. However, that does bring this video to a close Hopefully it's helped you see some of the major differences between the two, but at the end of the day, you can probably just supplement with both of them and reap the benefits of the whole plant. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos, and for supplementing with a high quality nettle root extract or learning more, be sure to head to our blog, our website, or our tonic herb shop in the description box below.